tutorial starts with a song, <laughs> but it's only a few seconds long. <laughs> Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, this story began in September 2021, when finally the gloves arrived in an elegant box, and in some ways true, the future was in my hands for about three weeks. These gloves, invented by a startup company named Rokoko in Denmark, are indeed a big step forward. It has to do with the quality and the price. They offer the motion capturing of hand and finger movements with direct import into Maya and other 3D animation packages. Rococo offers facial mocap with your smartphone, which I demonstrated in this tutorial. Their main business, however, is the mocap suit, which I had no chance and no time to try out. The mocap gloves, as of 2021, cost about 1000 euro, which is not much compared to studios who offer mocap as a service. If they work, I mean the gloves, and that's what we'll find out today. Let me start with a few results. This is an example how one of my hand movements arrived in Maya. The only thing I did in Maya was attach tiny spheres to the tips of the fingers. With a little extra work called rigging, you can convert the mocap animation into something like this. The gloves capture the fingers, including my thumb, quite precisely. Apart from that, they capture the rotation of the lower arm. Everything above the elbow needs to be animated somehow differently by hand, for example. In this clip, I composed a tiny piece of music and moved my hand and fingers to that music. Rococo exports FBX data, which get imported into Maya as joints of a skeleton. You have to create your own geometry in order to render it. I used an abstract and pretty fast way here, with a cube and several cylinders constrained to the respective joints. A mannequin. Two more variations, same music, same motion capture data, different rendering setups. First the Arnold Toon Shader. Now the depth of field. It was September when I recorded this session. I purchased two USB power banks to feed the gloves. But first I put the gloves on. This is a medium size and the gloves fit perfectly. I had paired them to my computer via Wi-Fi earlier, so now when I plug in the power, the gloves are directly connected. Here's the first one appearing in the Rokoko app. Since the fingertips are free, it's not a problem grabbing things like the computer mouse. It's a little bit more problematic to grab the graphics pen. Now the two hands appear on the screen. They need to be calibrated by holding the hands parallel to each other. The calibration is about rotation of the hands. It's not about the 
distance between the hands. You can now start recording the motion of your hands and fingers. I prefer to do this with an avatar in the scene. This is a matter of dragging and dropping the hands in the app onto the avatar. The hands in the app don't feel each other. They don't know of each other. They don't know their own positions in space, even after calibration. When I put my hands together, the mocap replicates this correctly for each hand, but not for the hands together. Let me try this with the guitar. Each hand is being recorded fine, but my right hand is below the left one, whereas in reality both hands are more or less horizontal. The precision of the mocap is outstanding, and this is real time. Even the thumb motion, which has been tricky to record with previous technologies, looks realistic on the screen. For the motion of the whole arm and proper positioning of the hands in space, you need the mocap suit. In the Rokoko app, you work with scenes. Me with a guitar would be one scene, consisting of several takes. After recording several takes of your hands and fingers, you export them. FBX is the best export format for Maya. Maya Human IK is the second option here in this dialog. You might want to choose it. It means that you can use the mocap data with Maya Human IK characters. I did several tutorials about the Maya Human IK workflow. The export process takes a while and once it's finished, you use the file import menu in Maya and then you're ready to go. Here is my bottom line after three weeks of testing them. The gloves do a great job. However, they feel a bit lost in space without the suit. I had a lot of fun with the hand and finger mocap, but before the trial phase of four weeks was over, I sent them back. Keep in mind, if you want to try them out, you get the money back pretty fast, minus the shipping costs back to Denmark. That can be quite costly from other continents to Europe. Cheers.